Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Grammel School. Many clients want to keep their natural nails long, so they don't let us build up or file them out. But I think that is something we should do if it changes the way they look. Ready? What you're going to see next may shock you. Let's start! So here are the nails that we need to transform today. I asked my subscribers on Instagram to name them. So here are some options. Banana nails, beaks, grousers, pterodactyl or dragon nails. Well, there were tons of ideas. And I do agree that these nails look like claws. They are curved, so Naturally, I'd like to fix this growth pattern. But first, here's a story behind them. My today's model has been having her nails done by the same nail tech for 10 years already. This nail tech even has their own nail art school in Moscow and also works with clients. My model was satisfied with her nails until recently, when she noticed that her nail tech stopped trying too hard, so she decided to find a new one and came across my post where I was looking for a model. But she wasn't sure if she'd make it, but she did. As far as I can see, her previous nail tech did not lift up her curved tips doing a nail fill, so these are my model's natural nails, just a few are a bit extended. At this point, we need to remove all the liftings to prevent a new coating from peeling. Just go along its perimeter with the tip of the drill bit. Note that these white pockets here need to be removed as well. These are inner liftings. Since the nails grow downward, there are cracks in the ingrowth points. But that's exactly what happens when there is such a pressure on the free edge and besides, you saw how thick the coating was, so it all results in excess pressure, leading to cracks in these zones. So to avoid painful cracks around the nail bed, we need to lift up these curved tips. Again, my model did not know that one could somehow lift up and fix such nails. Cause she's been trusting her nail tech for 10 years and her nails lasted really well. So she couldn't even imagine that there was something wrong with them and that they may look different. I can't say she was particularly cautious about her natural nails. She just trusted me with her hands, ready for any experiment. She was a bit uncomfortable at first, still in doubts. But once we were done transforming one hand, she could not believe her eyes when she saw it. Let's just say she was surprised. So I'm doing an e-file manicure, cause her cuticles are thin and dry. And this manicure type is a perfect fit for it. You may wonder why I didn't remove the free edge. Since if we're going to sculpt these nails with dual forms, it is way easier to do it with a fresh start. So the reason I didn't do it was to show you the process of fixing a curved nail tip in detail. In reality, I would never keep this free edge. I would have removed it completely. Now I apply some primer only in the cuticle zone. There is no need to put it on the free edge with some leftover gel. And I do a layer of a plastic base coat for a better bonding. I will sculpt the nails with gel and would better have a base layer for a camouflage one. Since the crack is in the ingrowth point, to prevent further damage, I decided to patch it with some fiberglass. This material takes time to get used to since we should be really careful so as not to breathe it in. So it's not perfect, 
but it's great for doing a quick fix that will actually last and keep the crack from getting bigger. I fix the crack on the middle nail as well. I put some fiberglass over a base coat, soak it with it, sand it to cure and trim the axis. Using gel or polygel here won't prevent this crack from spreading. So this is a secure option. I'm going to use dual forms for sculpting. Well, I could have just put some gel or acrogel on the free edge and file it out later. But then I would have wasted it. And using dual forms, we can do a straight line from the ingrowth point without wasting our gel. The model's cuticle zone is a bit trapezoidal, so I won't put the form too close to it. And I'm going to use gel instead of polygel today. This technique is super quick and wearable. It may pull a bit, but that's easy to fix. So I form a layer I need to strengthen it and put it on the nail. It aligns quickly, there are no air pockets, and now I can cure it with a UV light. This flashlight is super bright, so it takes about 3 seconds. I turn the nail over and align it on the inside. And I can also fill in all the big gaps between the nail and the form using the same gel. Now send it to cure in the lamp. Unlike polygel, this gel aligns perfectly, so it's easy to spread. Now I cure the nails and take off the forms. And as you can see, these nails do not look curved. I'm sure you'll agree that they look totally different now. Now let's check them on the inside to see the difference between the natural nail and the sculpted part. Now I grab a thin carbide drill bit and file the nail out. Again, we could have done it right away. I just wanted to show you a better before and after example. So I kept the free edge for this wow effect. If you find such things satisfying to watch, please give this video a big thumbs up, cause I do. Now I quickly fix the overlay in the cuticle zone and shape the free edge. I file the right side, then the left one and the peak part. I'm forming a sharp almond. Do you like manicure and nail extensions? If you do, join my new online course on nail sculpting from zero to pro and get your certificate. The course is available worldwide. For more information, click the link in the description box below. After filing, I turn the hand over and touch up the nail on the inside. It should be even, with no natural nail left. We can cover up this part with a top coat to make sure that the natural nails do not peel off or get stained on the inside. Since there is a gap left in the cuticle zone, there is an overlay in this area. There is not enough volume there. So I suggest we we'll build it up with some liquid base coat. I don't align this coating. I don't know why some nail techs do it working with dual forms. We don't need to do it here. I just slightly build up the cuticle zone. Now let's degrease the nails and add some nail art. I want to imitate plaster work here using a gray gel polish. I cover up the nails and on those with nail art I cover up the tips only. I've also got such a beautiful grey gel polish with black freckles. I move the brush randomly and that looks kinda like plaster work. I do a thin layer of a top coat smoothing out the surface and then outline the borderline with a thick glitter gel paint. It nicely frames it. Now let's do stamping with lettering for a bold, brutal look. I love this nail art. 
The model is happy too. Let's just add some cute stickers. I think this nail art looks fancy and youthful. I cover up full covered nails with the matte top coat and the ones with lettering with a glossy one. Was this transformation a success? Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out my other videos with nail transformations. I wish you all success in your work. Good luck. Bye-bye.